Hi, I'm Hal. And I'm Anthony. And we're here today to show you a little bit about the airbags offered by Genesis Rescue Systems. Let's start with the flat form bags. With the flat forms, the recommendation is that you can now use three bags high when lifting rather than only two that you might be used to. As you can see, the bags when blown completely form flat on the bottom and the top surface. And now for our standard conventional airbags. As you can see, when they're fully inflated, they inflate rounded on the top surface and also the bottom surface. On all of our lifting bags, you'll see the pertinent information all listed on the tag. All right, we'll place our bags, two bags together on top of each other. Remember that we want to keep our air hoses separate so we can be able to tell which side when we're lifting, if we're up on red or up on blue. Whatever area we're going to be lifting, we want to make its dead center of the X. So when we slide it up under there, we want to look for the frame. If we fail to get it under the frame, and it's either to the front or the back, it's gonna to wanna to have to a, an effect of kicking out. Now that we have our bags in place, the next thing we're gonna do is crib both sides of the vehicle. It's very important to crib the vehicle when we lift. We always capture the load as we lift. So remember, lift an inch, crib an inch. When we're operating airbags, we wanna make sure we keep a safety zone. We wanna keep a 45 degree angle. We wanna stay behind the wheel wells on the front and the back of the vehicle. And we also wanna keep a 20 foot area so when the operator is using the bag, he's gonna stay off to the side. When operating the controller, there's a couple commands we wanna give. One of the commands is gonna be up on red, up on blue, stop. Remember those three commands. Now that we're ready to lift, I'll give the commands. Remember, up on red, up on blue, and stop. Remember also when we're doing the commands, whenever whoever's on the controller is going up, we wanna go in short spurts. We do not want to go up really fast. We want to control this lift. Now, looking at the bags, we have red, which is at the bottom, blue is on top. Always remember, we want to inflate the bottom bag first. Anthony, up on red, till we make contact, till he gets contact to the vehicle. All right, stop. Now, up on blue. Small burst as you hear him going up. We capture the load here. Okay, up on blue. Okay, stop. We capture our load. A little bit more up on blue. Stop. Now, we've got this captured now. We're ready to take the bags out if we needed to. We've got the load captured. One of the things that we can do is we can leave these bags in here by using our shutoff. All we do here, turn the shutoff off. We can go down on the red line down on red. Now, we have already, now we've made it where we can take this line off of here. Disconnect, leave our bags in place and we can move to the other side if we need to lift. I'll give the command to my control person to go down on blue, down on blue. Okay, now see how the vehicle's sitting down on, the, on it, okay? All right, stop, okay, down on red. Now, if you'll notice how we've already taken up all the void, and now we're able to, after we drop the bags, we can pull the bags out of the way, and then we can make the rescue or whatever we need to do from there. Once again, this is Anthony and Howell with Genesis Rescue Systems. We want to thank you for watching this evolution, and whatever you may do, we ask that you do it safe.